Okay, so show me, show me how far out it, it's clearest. Do you want me to hold it? Uh, no, no, my you're arms okay. are long. They're long <laughs> enough, you're not They're having to... No, I can read that. Uh -huh. Okay. So just note it, notice, and you can bring it back and forth just to make sure that's exactly where it would be the clearest for you. Yeah, right about, right about the, length the length of, of your arm. arm. The length of my arm. Okay, so let's just put that down. Now, I'm assuming there was a time where you could read closer. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So when would that have been? Um, probably about, I'm 51, probably about eight years ago. Eight years ago. Okay. So can you think of a, sp a sort of a context where you would have been able to read more closely? If you think about, you know, where you were and what you were doing. It doesn't have to be a specific time where you remember exactly what you were doing, but say a context where you could remember that you could read really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So think about that. Let me just put your arms for a moment. So just think about and notice, remember how it was to read closer up? Mm -hmm. You remember how, roughly how close it was for you? That you, you could read? In terms of distance. Yeah, yeah, that it was yeah, like right, right here. Right here, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And the things, it was clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how does your uh, right toe feel right now in your flip-flops? Um, Just notice how that feels and the temperature of your toe. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Okay, think about reading now. I can read this much quick. Much quicker. Try a little bit closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit closer? Where is it the clearest thing? About, there. About right there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Where it was, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good. Yeah. Oh. So, so share with me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> no way you're wonderful. Yeah. So, but the other part of me would just allow myself to feel intimidated by her and I would just uh, kind of go to where Heather was alluding to, which is I'd feel more sad and kind of like I just would take it. You mm -hmm. know, I would just swallow it and not react the way my mind was telling me to react. Is this someone in your life still? No, I don't okay. live there anymore. So as you, talk about, as you talk about her, are you, are you noticing a response in yourself? I'm tight in my chest, yeah. 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 And so if you could give that tightness a a number from zero to ten, say zero, nothing, and ten, the most you can imagine. So it's in your chest and your stomach. So what number would you get? Uh, as I'm talking about it and thinking about her, it's probably about a six. Six. Okay. So she still has sort yeah. of a charge for you. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So um, yeah. let's just shake it off for a moment. Just shake it off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. And now um, I, I would expect there's somebody in your life that you... This was a woman that you worked with, right? Yes. So is there anyone in your life that, you've, that you work with or have worked with that you really resonated with that felt really good to be around? Sure. Yeah? And I'm just going to touch your arm while you're okay. thinking about this. So just think about this person. Is it a male or a female? Uh, female. Okay. And so just imagine yourself being with this person right now and notice the feelings that come up in your body. Oh, I feel so much more relaxed. Just yeah? <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. And so just, just imagine yourself enjoying being with her. That you guys are having a real connection there. You're having fun. You're very relaxed. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Great. Wow. So now just um, run your tongue behind the back of your lower teeth and just feel your teeth right now. Feel every little tooth, the gums, and all of that. Okay. Okay. And think of this other, this first person now. Oh, it seems, I don't seem as, I don't feel as aggravated as <laughs> It's a different experience. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Okay. What number would you give it now? Maybe a two. Maybe a two. Okay. This is called the foreground background exercise, and it's from NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and it was developed by a man called Robert Diltz. The experiment is that the brain, if, it, if it's got these elements going on in the foreground, and you focus on something that's in the background that's always been there that has no response for you, then it actually takes the response out of the other elements. So, for example, with... Um, 
with having a response, a negative response to a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's something that's in the foreground for you when you're talking about them. Feeling the back of your teeth is in the background and that has no, there's no emotional response to that. So when you connect it, and what I was doing here by holding your hand was I was anchoring in the positive experience you were having with that person, the other mm -hmm. person, and then you got the, the background, your mind went into the background, which was, this is something that's always been there, it's the back of your teeth, it's always been there, but you're not thinking about it. And then you go back to the response to the first person, mm -hmm. and you don't have a response anymore, or it's much less. Mm -hmm. It's the same with your eyesight. It,